Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful summer colorful bracelet. It's really easy to make and I'll show you step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make it by yourself. If you want to support me it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas and sometimes I release matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done like I made earrings and matching this bracelet and I'm linking them here at the eye icon and in this way when you hit the bell you will be notified and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that I posted below this video I will be so happy to see your creations down there in description you will find a full list of materials a link to my store and a link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much wa for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are four colors of 11 o seed beads. Here I use a clasp, lobster scroll clasp and a jump ring. This is monofilm and that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice. This is my size 10 beading needle. These are scissors and pliers. The pliers are not obligatory, only if you need to go through the difficult bits, you could use them. Okay, so now I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be... Okay guys, and now I have half an arm span of thread on my needle. And what I'm going to do is take six black beads. Okay, I have here my six beads. And I'm going to slide them down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here I want to make a knot by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made. And then I pull. And when I pull I have this. Okay. And I'm going in my next two beads. Okay. Then I'm going to take one black bead. I'm going in my following seed bead. Take just one. Go here in the next. Okay, one more, go here, and I will do this three more times. Okay, now this is what I have. I have six beads, a new row of six beads that are sticking out. And now I'm exiting of one of my beads and I'm going to take three red beads and I'm going here in the next one that's sticking out. Okay, pull. Here what I need are three more beads and as I'm exiting from this one that's sticking out, I'm going in the next one. And I need three more and I'm going in the next one. And I'm going to repeat this three more times. Okay, and these are the last three and I'm going through this black one. Don't make the mistake to go through the red, okay? 
now I'm here and I will go through these two red beads exiting out of this one that's sticking out and I'm going to take two yellow beads one green and two yellows this is what I have and I'm going through the next one that's sticking out the red one here okay then what I need are two yellows one green and two yellows taking them here going through the next red one and then again two yellows one green two yellow beads going here two yellows one green bead and two yellows go here and then I will continue two more times okay and pay attention here that you go through the red one and not through the yellow above it okay and now I'm going to go through these two yellow beads and my goal is to exit out of this green one here like that okay guys and don't worry if your work bends at this stage and now what I'm going to take are two reds, one black and two red beads. Okay. And as I'm exiting from this green bead, I'm going through the following green. Then I need two reds, one black and two red beads. And I'm going through the following green. And I will repeat this until the end of this row. Okay, guys. Now I'm adding the last bits from this row and I'm exiting here at this black one. Okay, and now I'm here at my last row and what I need to take are three black beads and I'm going back in circle through this black one. As I'm exiting out of this black one, I'm going back through it. And now you see what I have. I have a loop of beads here. Then I'm going through these two red beads and exiting out of the green. And what I need are three green beads and I'm going back in circle through this green one. And these two steps I will repeat until the end of this row. I'm exiting out of the black and add three blacks and I'm exiting out of the green and add three green beads Then again, I repeat this, a black one, three blacks, a green one, three greens. And I will repeat this until the end of this row.
Okay guys, and now my element is almost ready, but I'm going to do additional step to make my work stay nice and tight. I don't want this movement of my beads. That is why I will go around the edges and make them stay in a nice shape, okay? I'm going around the edges of my work. You see how this one stays in the right direction, okay? Then through these reds and greens. Okay, and you see what I'm doing, and I'm going to continue this until I'm up to here, and I'll be back to tell you how to make your knots and cut your thread. Okay guys, and now I went around through all of my edges here, of my element, and I'm here where I want to make a knot and cut my thread, okay. And here what I do is that I make a loop. And I go once, then I go second time through the loop I've made, and I pull, and then I go through the following red bead. Okay, and I pull, and now I'm cutting my thread, and my element is ready. And now I will make more and more elements and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you how to connect them in a bracelet. Okay guys and when I continue beading I have six elements and now I'm going to show you how to connect them in a bracelet and attach the clasp. Okay so now first I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I will go here between those two red beads and here in order to attach my new thread I will make a knot. First I will make a loop and I will go once and second time through the loop I've made. I will make sure that my knot is between those two beads where I started it from and I'm going to pull. Then in my next step I will go here through this red bead, okay, and then here at the edge, going out this green bead, okay, and as I'm exiting from this green one, I'm going to take two black beads, my ear wire, and then again two black beads. So this is what I have on my needle and I'm going to slide those down, okay, like this and now I will go back in circle through this green one, attaching my clasp here. Sorry, I said ear wire, I meant clasp, okay, and I'm going around like this. By the way, it's the same when you add ear wire. And if this was ear wire, this would be an earring. And as you know, I already gave you a link at the eye icon to the earrings tutorial. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is that I want to reach here at the other part of my work. And in order to do this, I could go here at the edge, or probably, probably it's better to go through the, the center of your work, not through the edge, because you've been a lot of time through the, the outer edge. But anyways, you could use your pliers 
and it will be easier. Okay guys, now I'm exiting here and it's time to add my next element and I will connect those green edges here. And I want to connect them with black beads, okay? So I'm taking one black bead, you see, and as I'm exiting from this green one in this direction, you see my thread, okay, I'm going through the other green bead. When I pull, you see what I have. This green bead, this uh, black bead between my greens, and I'm taking one more black bead, and I'm going back through this green one and pulling, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this bracelet. I will reinforce here this joint. Then I will go around the edges here, take my next element and connect it. And I will connect all of my elements and when I'm at the other part of my bracelet, I will show you how to finish it. See you in a while. Okay guys, and when I continue beading, this is what I have. I connected all of my elements the same way I showed you. And now I will show you how to finish your bracelet and add your jump ring, okay? Now I'm going to take five of these beautiful black beads and I will take my jump ring. And as I'm exiting from this green bead, I will go back in circle through this green one. Okay. I'm going around here. And now I will reinforce this part. Okay, and now I will go through the following seat here and I will make a knot and cut my thread. Okay, I'm making here a loop and I'm going once and I'm going second time through the loop I made and I pull and I could repeat this knot several more times and when I'm ready I'm going through the following seed bead after my knot and I cut my thread. Never cut next to a knot, okay? Okay guys, and now my bracelet is ready. Okay guys, and now my colorful summer bracelet is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button. This way you will be notified when I release new videos. And sometimes I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done, like I did earrings matching this bracelet and I'm linking those here. And uh, that's why it's a good idea to hit the bell because you will know and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I post below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, a link to my store and a link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.